The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency is making plans to establish six standard rehabilitation centers to address the high number of persons suffering from drug addiction in the country. The chief executive of NDLEA, Buba Marua, explained that three of the centers will start next year, as already proposed in a 2022 budget. Mr. Marua also stated that the centers, which will be located at the six geopolitical zones, will help curb substance abuse. According to him, evidence has shown that COVID-19 infections are higher or more common with people diagnosed with substance use disorders. Hence, addiction, addiction, addiction care must be reinforced to avoid complications of SUD and COVID-19. An anti-drug abuse advocate, Sonny Rakbo, joins me on the news to discuss this. Good to have you join us. Thank you so much for having me. So it does seem like the NDLEA is now engaging different means to deal with um, substance abuse and addiction in the country, um, rather than just criminalizing it. What do you make of this latest move um, to build rehabilitation centers in all these this geopolitical zones in the country? Uh, thank you so much for that uh, valid question. Uh, it's a very commendable move because if we must tackle the issue of drug abuse, we must not just focus on uh, pursuing the drug barons, the need for we to take a drastic step in taking the drug demand reduction strategy into cognizance is very, very key. And that is the dimension, the present uh, leadership under the performing uh, administration of uh, Buba Marwa is, 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 is pursuing. So, the, the, the step he has taken so far, it is very commendable. It is good but not sufficient because you are talking about over 15 to 20 million people that these rehabilitation centers will be, will be catering for. So if we must look into the, the issue of drug abuse critically, we must establish not just in this geopolitical zone, but also ensuring that we establish this rehabilitation center in every local government of the country. We are having about 70, 774 local governments in the country, and the number of drug users, they are increasing on a daily basis. And as I talk to you, young people are suffering in our streets today. They have nowhere to go because the cost of getting uh, someone rehabilitated is very high. Family members, they cannot pay. How will a, a family member be bringing a millionaire in a month, you know, to cater for a drug addict? So mm. the move by Buba Marua at this point is very commendable. But we are saying it's not sufficient. We want to see where rehabilitation center is built all over the uh, mm. uh, And, and if, if I may quickly come in there, because you, you have just said, uh, Mr. Rakwa, you have just said that... Um, you have just said that uh, the numbers of people who take drugs, and it's not just young persons, because when you look at the, the statistics um, read out by the NDLA, about 14.3 million Nigerians aged between 15 to 64 have taken a psychoactive substance in the last one year for non-medical reasons. And then one in every four of these drug users is a woman. So it just shows you the level of challenge that we have in the country. What more can we do beyond the rehabilitation centers? I have said it time and time and time over and over again that if we must tackle the issue of drug abuse, we must also look at sensitization campaigns because it is very cost effective. For every one dollar spent in sensitization, it's going to save the government ten dollars. In other words, information is very critical. People are not informed. That is why a lot of young people they are venturing into drug abuse because most of them they don't know the implications, they don't know the effects of this thing. When you begin to clock 38 to 40 years, you begin to get the effect, the negative effect of this drug abuse in your head. It is very consequential to their head. So what we are saying is this: we must intensify effort in sensitization. Look at the way we talked about COVID-19. Even my little baby, my little child of three year old, who knows what is COVID-19 and how he, he can take a preventive measure. The same thing we are saying that government should be concerned about these young people. It is not enough to establish those rehabilitation center because it is costly. How many people can afford it? It is much better for we to throw the line of education because it's very, very mm, important right. and it's very uh, cost effective for the 
are saying that it is very important that education is clear. Let every man on the street understand the dangers of drug abuse. By so doing, we'll be able to flatten the curve of drug abuse because even when the drug traffickers are having their way, if the user is known by the information that we are passing out, they will be able to take a decisive decision on how they can live well. We must also see drug abuse as a public health issue so that everybody can come on board with corporate organizations. Will they employ drug addicts tomorrow? Is your life and my life not in danger because of All the right. state of insecurity? Um, yeah, I, I'm afraid we we'll do ha have to leave it there. You, you're very, you're very correct in, in terms of the fact that this has more sensitization has to be done in this regard. Um, thank you so much for talking to us, anti-drug abuse advocate Sonny Irakbo.